Morning. I'm uh, Beetlejuice from Reddit's Wicked Edge, and this is attempt two on uh, a fairly popular one that I did a while back, Obsidian. Uh, now there's a couple of videos floating around, including one of mine, for uh, a couple of people who have been able to uh, do shapes with obsidian blades. They're notorious for being the sharpest thing, or one of the sharpest things that you can get, capable of generating a blade down to a couple of microns. This is phenomenal, but it seems like the um, ancient art of flint napping, which is, or napping in this case, because it's not flint, um, is capable of generating a blade that can cut, and while volcanic glass or glass is exceedingly sharp, uh, my experience with this has been that it is not uh, to the same performance level of a straight razor or a double-edged razor. That does not mean it can't be used, it just means that you are dealing with, go figure, primitive technology and as such it does not work as good. So with a little more study and a little more research on my side, um, I'm going to take another shot at this because I wasn't real happy with the results the last time. and. I'm just going to lather up and we're going to give this another go. I've given this a couple of days growth. So, and that's the other thing I found. Um, it seems like this performs better with, eh, performs better with a little bit longer beard hair. Poor Mitchell's wool fat soap is getting smaller and it's getting harder to hold on to. So. Again, just out of the shower, so my beer is nice and pliable. I'm going to Of course, the ancient peoples that were doing this didn't have the benefit of lather. We probably just did this dry, and if that makes your eyes water, good, it should. This is not or wasn't a comfortable shave the last time. I don't expect a lot will change this time. Uh, I'm trying to not apply techniques that I use with a straight razor for the most part, and that takes the form of I'm used to being able to set an angle and do a long sweep. Uh, this appears to be more of a uh, chopping motion. <sighs> Not nearly as fearsome as I thought it was going to be. Nothing. Seem to remember I had to play with these a little bit to find the right one too. Well, there's an unnerving process. It's kind of a Gillette slide. Let me get the camera to zoom in. And there you go, it is working. And just touch the lather back up there.
-hmm. Trying to do this and keep your hands dry is a bit of a challenge. Hmm. Hmm. That one doesn't seem to be a right-handed rock. <laughs> So there you go. Can it be done? Yes. Good idea? <laughs> Probably not. I have a bad feeling I'm going to look like crap tomorrow. But, also unless I haven't cut myself. So, um, I'm also breaking all the rules by the way for those of you who are watching this interested in uh, straight razor shaving. Um, you're seeing me do a lot of really, really wrong things here. I am double passing. I'm going over the same area without lather. Um, this is doing enough damage to my face that um, I can feel uh, the skin being operated pretty badly here. It's more of a sawing motion than a slice, which is, I think, what buffaloed me last time I did this.
In case anybody was thinking it's not sharp, there you go. It was bound to happen. Now, let's kill that right away. Stick your pencil. I've done worse with far more advanced technology. So, <sighs> is it comfortable? No. Would I recommend it? No. Can it be done? Hell yeah. Um, I wouldn't call that acceptable. Uh, I'm also not brave enough to go for a second try. I sure as hell I'm not going to try and against the green pass like that. That's asking for lethal damage. So. There you go. Lean in so you can get a nice close look. Did it work? Yep, yeah, for the most part. It's not close, but it's a shave. Uh, the best thing I can say about it is um, to the uh, best of my knowledge, this is not how I would want to be doing this. I've done I've done worse shaves with other gear, but I'm having a hard time remembering what that was. Anyway, um, there you go. So if you ever get the desire to drag a piece of broken glass over your face to get a shave, there you go. There's the technique. And I highly recommend that uh, if those are your choices for you know, get scruffy or broken glass, go scruffy, trust me. Anyway, till next time, I'm Beetlejuice from Reddit's Wicked Edge. Keep them sharp, and there will not be a third performance on this one. Later.